What's going on guys? Welcome to the vlog coach right here and today ang topic natin is about clan vitrol or clan. I know na discuss ko na to before. I did a full vlog about clan vitrol and I discussed the origin, side effect, benefits, dosage, cycle length, almost everything about clan. But today I just want to focus more on a certain side effect which is the muscle cramps. So ano nga ba nagiging cause ng muscle cramps while you are on a clan vitrol cycle. So yung hindi discuss natin for today. So if interested ka about this topic, just stay with me and let's go! It's not a game, it's a red thing. First of all, I'm not a doctor, I'm just a registered nurse in the Philippines and I'm a certified personal trainer here in the UAE. So kung ano mang knowledge ang makuha nyo mula sa video na to, bahala na kayo doon. Okay? So this video is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. So bakit nga ba tayo naka-experience ng muscle cramps while on a clenbutrol cycle? Bakit nga ba? Like for example, nakiga ka lang sa kama kung kailan ka pa nakarelax tsaka ka pa magka-cramps, di ba? So usually nararamdaman to sa lower extremities natin like sa quads, sa hamstrings and most common talaga is uh, calf muscles. So bakit nga ba? So first of all, syempre kailangan mong malaman kung paano ba mag-function yung clenbutrol or how does it work or para saan ba talaga to. So yung clenbutrol, it's not a steroid to be clear. Una ako na kayo. So clenbutrol is not a steroid but it has a steroid-like effect when it comes to fat loss and lean muscle mass. Okay, so ayun. Alam na natin yun kasi kung napanood nyo yung first vlog ko about clen, nandun naman yun, na-mention ko na yun doon. So, it is originally a bronchodilator. So, it opens up your airways. So, um, ginagamit dito ng mga runners and endurance athletes for endurance and stamina. So, ayun, it works as a bronchodilator and it has a thermogenic effect. It increases your body temperature. Siyempre, kapag tumaas yung body temperature mo, mas mataas yung chance mo na mag-burn mag ng more calories. So ayun na nga, doon na nga tayo. So yung clenbutrol is not a steroid, but it works like a steroid. It's a bronchodilator, it opens up the airways, and it's uh, thermogenic, and blah 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 kung ano na pa. So ano nga ba yung main cause? Bakit nga ba nagkakaroon ng muscle cramps? So madaming factor, but mag-umpisa na ako sa main cause, which is yung depletion ng taurine and potassium. So itong dalawang to, responsible sila for uh, muscle contractions. So ayun, kapag na-deplete yan, magkakaroon talaga tayo ng muscle cramps and may experience talaga natin yun. So, you need to supplement with taurine. When taurine level goes down, the chances of experiencing muscle cramps while on cleanse cycle is very high. So, um, importante talaga yung taurine sa atawan natin. So, kung mapapansin nyo yung other side effects ng cleanse vitrol uh, that is related to heart abnormalities, it's because of uh, depletion of taurine then. So kung mapapansin nyo, yung most bodybuilders na gumagamit ng clenbutrol, they are stacking it in combination with taurine. So how much taurine should you take while cycling clenbutrol? So doon sa mga pro bodybuilders, usually they are taking up to 5 grams of taurine. But yung safe dosage ng taurine is 3 grams per day. So another cause na nakikita ko is yung very high dose of clenbutrol. They are taking 120 mcg pataas, okay? So if you are new to clen or you're, you're planning to start a clen cycle, ang advice ko, best advice ko is start on a very low dosage, okay? You can start with 20 mcg and then the next day 40 mcg for a week and then next week you can start at 60 mcg to 80 mcgs and so on and so forth. So mas maganda yon para ma-assess mo rin yung tolerance mo on clenbutrol and on those side effects like tremors, shakiness and uh, palpitations and muscle cramps and kung ano-ano pa. So mas maganda mag-start talaga on a very low dose for assessment. Huwag ka masyado magmadali on increasing the dosage kasi um, hindi rin naman mag-increase yung fat, uh, fat burning mo or your fat loss mo if mag-start ka agad on a very high dose. So ano pa ba, ba? I think loss of appetite and malnutrition kasi isang side effect ng clenbutrol is loss of appetite as well. Malnutrition, syempre, yung iba hindi marunong mag-diet, they're starving themselves, hindi sila masyadong makain, and sabi, sabi ng coach nila, huwag silang maglagay ng salt sa pagkain nila kasi tataba sila. But when you are depriving yourself with electrolytes like sodium or yung asin, 
magkakakrams ka or maka-experience ka ng cramps kasi you are depleted with electrolytes. Napaka-importante noon, guys. Okay? So, huwag niyong um, i-deplete or um, i-limit masyado yung salt intake niyo. Huwag kayong matawal sa salt. Okay? So, it will not make you fat. It can make you bloated, but it will not make you fat. Electrolytes is very important and essential talaga yun sa katawan natin. So, bakit ka nga ba nag-lenutrol? Siyempre, di ba, for fat burning, fat loss, yun na yun eh. But it should be in sync with your training and nutrition. Siyempre, sa nutrition, kailangan na caloric deficit ka or else hindi mo ma-maximize yung result from the fat burner na ginagamit mo. Like for example, yung clean withdrawal nga. But it can also affect the risk or it can enhance the side effect na pwede mo makuha sa fat burning na ginagamit mo. Just like with clean. Siyempre, naka-caloric deficit ka, impaired ka ng nutrition, yung iba sobrang strict pa sila sa sodium intake nila and water intake. So, ayun, it can aggravate the side effect na pwede mong makuha from clean, just like muscle cramps. So, mas maganda, increase mo yung fluid intake mo and huwag mong ikat totally yung sodium from your diet. So, sabi ko nga, uh, it should be in sync, di ba? With training and nutrition. So, tapos na tayo sa nutrition, kailangan na caloric deficit ka, and then sa training naman, impaired yung recovery mo when you are taking clean. So, it can increase your endurance and stamina, pero yung recovery mo, impaired yan. So, mas maganda syempre, connected pa rin yan sa nutrition. Sabi ko nga, in sync. So, kailangan increase your water intake if meron kang BCAAs or EAAs during your training, intra-workout. Mas maganda kasi it contains sodium and potassium and other electrolytes. And syempre, ano pa ba? Sabi ko nga kanina, yung taurine, yung main cause talaga, nagkakos ng muscle cramp is due to um, too much excretion of taurine and potassium sa urine mo. So, mas maganda if meron kang taurine supplement. So, it can also help in your ma uh, to increase your uh, recovery from your training. Siyempre, um, nakakatulong din siyempre yung uh, mobility training like foam rolling, massage gun, stretching, and warm up before and after your workout. So, ayan, yung mga bagay na ating makakatulong sa'yo to avoid muscle cramps. So, ano ba ba? I think that's it. Nagugutom na ako. Ayun ang pabain. So, if you have some questions, suggestions, let me know. Comment down below. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next vlog. God bless.